Uh, plenty of both, definitely, Stephen and Diana. Well, if you're a trucker and you want to go to Canada from Detroit, you have one option right now. It's the Ambassador Bridge. But as you know, a huge battle is underway to change that. Right now, it's the bridge to nowhere, the partially built second span of the Ambassador Bridge. The section of concrete now becoming a symbol of a battle playing out in TV commercials. Stop the government bridge. In the media. We have a bridge to build. We're halfway done. And in Lansing. This new bridge will create jobs, strengthen our economy. The face of the anti-bridge camp is Matthew Maroon, the son of billionaire Matty Manuel Maroon. You can't build a multi-billion dollar government bridge without spending taxpayer money. The Maroon family owns the 81-year-old Ambassador Bridge, which is the busiest international span in North America. The Maroons say a new span does not make sense because fewer cars and trucks are crossing their bridge. Traffic today is basically half of what it was 10 years ago. As a matter of fact, our, our April numbers for truck and car traffic compared to last year, trucks are down 8% this April compared to last year. The Maroons are unleashing their financial war chest to protect their bridge from more competition, launching this anti-bridge campaign. $100 million a year. That's what the government bridge the bureaucrats and politicians want to build. In the most recent anti-bridge ad, the Maroons are trying to brand the project a government bridge that will cost the taxpayers millions. There's a lot of talk in those commercials about the cost to the taxpayer. That's so right. It's fair to say these are your concerns are more centered on your own profits and your family's business than they really are for Michigan taxpayers. Well, we care about them both, right? Uh, we live here, we work here, we do business here. We don't take government money. The Maroons claim the hundreds of millions of dollars in cost to taxpayers will come from declining traffic volume and in turn a drop in toll revenue. But experts say in 30 years, car traffic will increase 128% and truck traffic will jump 70%. Sandy Barua of the Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce says those numbers make the case for a new span. And in the outside chance, the tolls don't repay back the Canadian loan the worst thing that happens to us as Michiganders is that we have to pay back our very best friends in the world at a future date at a discounted rate. Snyder is promising the bridge will cost Michiganders little if any money. The governor says the new span will be paid for through a federal grant, private investment, and from a $550 million loan from the Canadian government. But turnaround consultant Patrick O'Keefe, who has no affiliation with either side of this debate, says he has concerns that a new bridge will pay for itself. To date, I have not seen a study that justifies a second bridge other than for homeland security issues that, you know, if the bridge were to go down, you know, it'd be nice to have a second one. O'Keefe believes it's possible the push for a new bridge may be driven partly by public versus private. And I think there's been a, a general aversion to having such a valuable asset in terms of international trade in the hands of a private owner. Um, but I don't know economically that anybody has justified uh, a second bridge. The bottom line, the success of a new bridge depends on projections, and we won't know if those come to fruition until years down the road. And when uh, ground could be broken on a new bridge is pretty unclear at this point. Lawmakers in Lansing are in the initial phases of drafting those plans. And, of course, we'll keep you posted. Reporting live just outside the Ambassador Bridge, I'm Tom Waite, Channel 7 Action News. Diana, back to you. Tom, any news from the Canadian government on the weather Maroon can actually finish his second bridge? Well, at this point, they are blocking that second span from being completed. And Canada has been saying from the beginning of this debate that they want the second bridge because it makes more sense for them because it would plug directly into their highway system. Whereas right now, the Ambassador Bridge kind of spits out into surface streets on the other side. And they say environmentally that just doesn't make sense for them. Hmm.